It's in the Falcon Ditto. Oh, uh, like the round robin oh, the for, round the, robin, for yes. the very first uh, 2GGT. So a lot of time has passed since then, and he's going a very opposite kind of character, a very technical setup, bait heavy kind of character yeah. instead. And, you know, if you've been watching locals in the past like two or three weeks, you might actually start to believe that Larry is a Falco main nowadays, uh, keeping up the tradition of going mostly secondaries throughout our local brackets here. It still does a really good job. And putting on display exactly how good of a character Falco can be. He's got some really cool setups, uh, like the up tilt to back air, up tilt to back air. I mean, he's got, I mean, up tilt to up air. He's got really, really good juggle tools as well. Um, yeah. Oh, you said up tilt to back air because to emphasize that's, that's how like, good yeah. that setup is yeah. in particular. I had to say it twice. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But here we go, got to get trapped on the ledge here with that rapid jab. Going with the high recovery, yes, Snake can do that. And a B reverse grenade, that's usually what you're going to see a Snake do when they start to go high. And then it becomes a big mix-up game. It's like, am I going to be reverse this time? Or am I just going to come back around down and then you're going to not guess correctly? Dude, and do you see the way uh, Heavy is using his grenades? I mean, he dropped two grenades right in front of Larry so that he has to jump over it and he can just react to that as he will. Or Larry can just wait it out as he did. Um, <laughs> the control right here from Heavy is insane. Yep. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't seen like Snake at this caliber uh, too much. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, I like the idea from Larry. He threw out the reflector, but if you hit behind his head, then the, usually the reflector hitbox won't come out. So that was unfortunate from Larry. But let's see if he can still try to bring this back. But Heavy with a very decent size lead, especially Snake at 95. is not really Snake at 95. He's more like a 65. He's not going to die for a very long time. Okay, there's the up tilt to back air. Not going to be a kill confirmed yet from center stage. Did you get it? Oh my god, the, what a read. Catching the uh, animation of the grenade drop to just beat it out with his own back air. Yep. Snake can't do anything during the, the pin itself, and he recognized that, so yeah. he just decided to go for it. And really smart. Not enough distance to be able to be reversed, so Larry just able to cover all those options. Okay, one thing I do like about this matchup for Falco is that he, he does that have that up tilt to up air confirms and up, build, up air... Uh, Juggles into itself really easily, and it's that, that's such a bad position for Snake to be in is below a character who can get up there and actually just keep the pressure up. Yeah. Falco having the highest jump in the game, he can do that very easily. Yeah, exactly. And he's quick at it, too. He's yeah. got some very fast arrows to be able to contest that. Heavy, uh, he's, uh, I can tell that he's trying to find some setups by cooking the grenades. If you don't know what it is, cooking grenades is basically letting the grenades stay there and then trying to find a setup afterwards by timing your aerials, your throws, or anything else like that. Nikita, Ooh. not quite going to do it either, but he's just a couple seconds off the mark. It's not quite working out, but another Nikita will be able to seal out the stock. Yeah, intercepting that si side B from Falco, the Falco Phantasm. Uh, getting the stock pretty late at 170, but still, whatever does the trick is uh, fair game. There's another back air, and it's going to kill off the top. I'm not sure if there was an explosion or if Snake had a grenade uh, that went off in the blast zone. Nonetheless, Larry uh, keeping it even. Yep. All right, you got the up throw. Not quite going to be able to set up into it. And yeah, you can tell Lori, he's just like immediately throwing it because he's getting it caught up in his combo, so he just wants to get rid of it immediately. Yeah, and I mean, especially uh, if he's been keeping track of how uh, Heavy has been cooking his grenades, as you mentioned earlier. If Heavy is cooking his grenades, uh, this, he, he's going to be able to time more easily a grenade toss, or, or if um, he catches the grenade, it's going to like explode much sooner in his yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Oh, the C4 said, did you see it? Because I did it. No, I did. I actually <laughs> did not. He must have done it right when he did the light grenade toss. Yeah. And then as he was coming back to the stage, he just dropped it Clean. as well. Clean and heavy just like that. Moving up a game versus Larry Lur, who is like the third seed in this bracket, I think. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, well, if the... Lord, I'm hit, if, he, if he's the third seed, then that must mean in the SoCal PR, he must be third. Unless, uh, I don't know anything about that. Oh, <laughs> no. Nah, they wouldn't do that. They would do... It, it, they would go based off the... I don't know. Dang, you might be right. Bro. Unless there's a bunch of people in between <laughs> him and like the second and first seed that That's aren't true. here. That's but we'll hard. have to see. He's still sticking with the Falco. I know he won his first uh, tournament actually over in Oakland, I believe, using Wolf. But we'll have to see. I mean, I guess uh, yeah, you know. I think, I think he pulled out Wolf like after losing with Falco. <laughs> so yeah, I, it, it's possible we may see that as well mm -hmm. uh, later on in the bracket if he if he doesn't find any success here. And this is the last. Uh, opportunity he's gonna have here after all best of three. Mm -hmm. Oh, the uppers. Very smart from Larry, knowing that the dash attack won't cross up at that distance. Snake kind of has to be in startup in front of you to be able to cross up behind you. 
All right, excellent down tilt there from Heavy. He's gonna set the C4 right there. There's the wing and legs combo. It's still not gonna be enough to kill. Uh, gotta take another trip to KFC. Yep, I like that. All right, but grenade toss forces out the jump. Yeah, he tried to catch him underneath with the C4. Didn't quite happen, but still he was able to get that tr secondary trap uh, with the up air instead. Very smart from Heavy, keeping his options and his opponent's options in check here. That forward air, uh, you're gonna, it's, it's a tricky move to shield. After all, you're gonna have to remember to shield the entire duration of it. The multi-hit and the landing hitbox make it tricky. Uh, and even if you're trying to time a parry, it's 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 one of the harder moves to uh, counterplay. Yep, use the down tilt, just clipped up with the up air. Of course, he sticks out his feet, so of course, you're going to get Ooh. caught like that. And just like that, of course, directional air dodge is not infallible. It does have a couple of uh, instances where you are vulnerable, so you can not catch him with a long relaxing hitbox like that. But the dare keeps him off stage one more time. Oh, you know he wanted the forward air spike sedge, but he wasn't <laughs> able to find it. He just retreated back to the stage. Uh, and reset the position at the ledge. And with Larry making his way back, already getting a grab here. Big damage, the up tilt pickup. Not able to find anything else. Cooks a grenade, just allows him to protect himself by like that. That is an option you can do. If you hold grenade, go into shield, then your opponent can't approach you because if they get a grab, then all of a sudden you're going to get blown up as well. And then you get the trade out of that. Okay, forward tilt, all right. And goes into the immediate rapid jab combo. Catching the double jump. He has no double jump. Uh, doesn't yeah. able to catch the directional air dodge in time, but another up tilt peck up into an up air. Gonna keep him up there one more time. Not quite gonna get that though, but he still gets the landing on the back air before he can get any spot dodge or any kind of dangerity out. And Larry at 115% here. Oh dang, I can kill, I can hear Vance hardcore. <laughs> hey, hey Nate, we can hear, we can hear Vance like hardcore. Right, there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone else was able to hear it, but it was like super distracting for us. Oh. Keep him up one more time. Uses the dare. I like the idea. Let's see how he decides to land. Uses that meaty back air. Yeah, even with the weak hitbox, it actually keeps people into tumble for a very long time. So. Oh, okay. Delaying He's his dead. recovery. <laughs> He's super dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Heavy. Bringing it back. 79%. 95 now. He's a bit of a heavy character, so he's going to live a little bit longer. But, uh, I mean, the rushdown coming out from Larry is, is so good. And the juggles as well. Back throw here for Larry. Yep. And I really like that there out of shield. Usually, Sna uh, Snake can kind of struggle if he doesn't have the grenade in hand. But that's a very nice tool. If he knows that they're spacing, he can get him off uh, his opponent really quickly. All right. Grenade in hand. Yep, yeah. Just like I said before, uses a grenade into shield just, just to stop oh, the pressure. Oh, the sticky's on him! No! Does Larry know? Oh my god. Oh no, it's it's on uh, it's on heavy now. Yep, it's on. Uh, it's gonna keep oh switching back and forth. If the grenade is just, if the sticky stays on someone for too yeah. long, like for about 10 seconds, then it'll just fall off onto the floor. But that scenario, you know, he just decided to go into shield and just get rid of that some sticky. Same scenario is gonna happen. There it is on the platform, detonates it. Dash attack not going to be enough for ki to kill for Larry. He's trying to set up an edge guard. Back throw. Back throw. Oh, okay. Not Still gonna not quite enough, yeah. But he's got himself in the air. The direct no air dodge comes out. Of course, he's going to drift for a very long time, but Larry not quite finding it. But he's going to get a ledge control one more time. Yeah, he's just barely off the mark with these back airs, and he gets a back air towards the stage. Stage spike not going to come to fruition. 191 here for for heavy. Ooh, the drop platform back air gonna connect with Snake being a, a little bit of a taller character as well. It's it's a, a little bit just a little bit easier for Larry to land that, and he's gonna put us at uh, even set count one to one. Yep, uh, finally we get a one one. <laughs> For real, for, for I the mean, <laughs> dude, can you imagine? I would have been like even like more traumatized. Like it's like, oh man, another 2-0, Larry, Larry got 2-0. And it was, an, it was yeah. an upset. Oh god! <laughs> On top of that, man, that'd be crazy. But here we go. Yeah, because so far I believe the 2-0s that have happened on stream have been, uh, you know, like according to seating, but. Here we go, our game number three on Pokemon Stadium 2. Again, this is our final game here between Larry and Heavy. Yep. Heavy getting rid of the Leopard Skin this time around. I don't know if he's just trying to, you know, change gear for the next mission, but here we go. Rapid jab, 19% there for Larry, good damage. And kind of just dancing around the neutral, trying to hop over him, just get a reaction from Heavy. Oh! Uh, that was unfortunate. I think he like did an up air and then tried to jump back up, but uh, it didn't come out in time or something like that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Sucks. Yeah, but doesn't matter for Larry. He's still getting the juggles up, 96%.
Can he get the opportunity? He's keeping him in the air, and he's still trying to catch him, but the armor comes through here. And there's the up tilts, and we haven't seen like too many smash attacks come out from Larry as well, so he may be uh, holding on to that for really particular moments. Ooh, unfortunate. Pulled out the rapid jab. He's going to get caught on whiff there. Oh, and he's trying to find it, but of course the dash attack on Snake is intangible on the head and arm, so you have to be careful about that. Oh, but up tilt to up air. Finally, we will do it on the short ceiling of the Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, that's that's all wings right there. Buffalo Wild Wings, 31% uh, on Larry. He's sitting pretty good on the stock, landing with the ja uh, jab. He's got to be careful of the C4 right before him. He's very yep. aware, jumps over it. Another rapid jab. Yeah, decides to throw it out. Yeah, he knew there was enough time for it to be cooked, so it would wow. be an instant throw into explosion. Just Larry not in the right position for it. Okay, puts up the shield. Hey, uh, that's such good insurance for Snake when the grenade is there. Because yeah. even if his opponent like uses their grab armor or whatever, or, or just has to go for the immediate throw to shield, that means he can't follow up immediately as well. Yeah. So. Very smart from Larry, though. He recognized that, you know, the grenade, it only has about two seconds on the clock before it starts to detonate, and he didn't have enough time to really follow up anything else. Nikita comes out, but it actually reflects. Very smart from Larry. And he's actually able to get the kill with it, too. Yeah, and it was, like, a really, like, almost situational uh, stock for Larry to get. He had to reflect it just as it was coming out of the yeah. rocket launcher for uh, Snake, and so he pulled the trigger right on the mark. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the chase? Okay, you're just gonna go for back throw. Of course, you're not able to follow up with an up tilt until around 160, so. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, Phantasm into the up air. Gonna trade with Heavy, but he's not gonna lose his stock just yet. Down throw into the up tilt is a guaranteed confirmed pass 170, and Larry's gonna be on his last stock now. Down to the wire, game number three again, our last game between these two. Right. Will we get the upset from Heavy or will Larry secure his position in the bracket? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is dead even and almost anything can happen. <laughs> oh, and as yeah. long as Heavy can keep getting trades, that's the important part, but he's not is the big thing. Falco and Larry, Ooh. by extension, is doing an amazing job of keeping away from these grenades and knowing the right positioning. And that C4 is a little bit too high, so Larry's gonna be quite aware of that. Maybe he'll come into a situation later. There's about 30 seconds, I believe, before the C4 detonate on its own. We'll have to see what goes down there. What amazing pressure with these aerials coming out from Larry. But that rapid jab gonna get punished. The immediate forward throw into the C4. Luckily, Larry able to jump away in the nick of time. Ooh, great parry on the last hit, actually. And now we got the Nikita pressure. Oh, but he actually gets, he got what he wanted, the roll out, but the Nikita wasn't quite in a position to be able to catch him there. Back air, oh my god, the lowest hitbox he possibly could have gotten low to the ground. And Larry moving on with a 2-1 victory. Really nice stuff from both players, honestly. As, yeah. as you were 